Hello everyone, my name is The Catcher and welcome back to some more, another episode of Forgotten Games, the show where I take a look at games that have been forgotten to times past. In today's episode, we're going to do X-Men. So if you guys are excited, make sure to click like, comment, and subscribe, and let's jump right in. So, I have no idea why there's no sound, but there is no sound. So, sorry, I guess? Uh, so let's just take a look at it. I guess it's not much about the sound than it is the freaking game. So let's see what it's like. So it appears to be some type of beat-em-up. How did you guys, did you guys have a good fourth? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, extra footage today. Um, I'm recording this the Friday of. Um, oh, wow, we have a time limit as well, which is not something I expected. So we're going to move this way, I guess. Um, ooh, we have like a little bonus attack. Okay, cool. Oh, we got some combo moves. Getting some combo moves rolling. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. This game is interesting, I will say. Oh, you have to use the R button to jump, which is something I did not know we could do. Fascinating. This game definitely is interesting. It feels like it's a basic beat-em-up. It reminds me of the Incredibles game for the Game Boy Advance, which, granted, it's on the same platform, so... Ah, oh, gee whiz. So it seems like a pretty basic beat-em-up. Um, this is not the only game I'm going to play today for Forgotten Games. Um, I'm going to work on episode 34 and 35 as well, so I hope you guys are excited for that. Let me know what you guys genuinely think of this series. I, I hope you like it. Because I, I love doing it. Like, I love playing random games that people tend to forget about. Like, I feel like... You know, I feel like I do play games that are like uh, that nobody really remembers. I do have one other game in mind that I'm going to play today. I have several games I'm going to play today for Forgotten Games. I want to at least do like my goal for Forgotten Games when I first started it was to do 50 games. And we're getting pretty close to that goal. So either way, like we're, you know, when it comes to Forgotten Games, I have done a lot and I could do 50 like, I have enough footage to do 50 episodes. But I also want to play stuff that uh, some people have recommended to me. Cami recommended to me a few games, so we're going to do that as well. Um, I'm also working on a brand new show, which I'm not going to spoil, but it's really, really good. Um, it's Forgotten Games-esque, but it's not the same. It's I'll give you a teaser for it. It's basically going to be like... Games that were developed by, like, just random people. So, that's what it's going to be for me, at least. So, it's going to be something really fun. I think you guys will enjoy it because it's something you wouldn't expect. Ooh! An ITM. Let's pick that up. Wow, we whooped the crap out of the blob who I'm assuming is a boss, or at least a mini-boss at that. So, wow, we are really whooping the crap out of this guy. It's just like in the movies! What did you do to the mansion, Blob? My goodness. By the way, has anybody watched the new X-Men thing? Is it good? Like, let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Did we just beat this area? Wow, we did it! So it's basically Ninja Turtles, except way cooler. Let's go strength. I don't know how I did that, but okay. All right, we're saving. Woohoo! Save okay! <laughs> it's okay. It's mediocre at best. Alright, we are at Sta Canadian Showdown. Okay. We're fighting Canada, eh? 
We're like letter Kenny up in here, baby. That show is hilarious, by the way. Like, like we can sit here and, you know, we can. But that show is awesome. Like, not, if you haven't seen it, what are you doing with your life? Go do it. It's great, my man. It's great. Oh, we got some more, like, Borgs to kill. I don't know why I keep calling them, like, Borgs and stuff. I think it's because I've been playing Ape Escape 3, and all the enemies in those games are called Teleborgs. So, I guess that's my mindset with it, you know? Are we going to get more ass to kick? What are we doing here? Aha. Uh -huh. Get out of here, baby boy. Is he going to tell us to go? Are we going to get to go? What are we doing here? We're all sort of time limit here. It's pistachio. Like we're, we, we, we got places to be. There we go. Scoobity-bop-ba-doo! Ow! Get wrecked! Get wrecked right in your face, yeah! I'd say the sound effects are good, but there are none, so... <laughs> oh well! <laughs> A man can dream of a prettier tomorrow, but a dream is only as real as you make it. So whatever, man. Nice. Whooping some ass. Some solid ass. I keep forgetting we can jump. I also keep forgetting we're on a time limit. Not just on the show, but like in the game. Ooh. Nice whoop an ass like an ass whooper. Watch out, dude! This game is honestly kind of fun. It's not just kind of fun; it is fun. Like it's a pretty basic beat 'em up, but it's actually pretty good. Maybe I'll do a part two of this someday. I might. Who knows? Who knows? It's not gonna be today. I also need to record some more Oracle of Ages. I'm going to record the first, like, five episodes and see where it goes. Like, I only recorded episode one on Monday, so I probably should do more. I won't do a whole lot, though, because we have a lot to do left. Like, we still have, like, I have so much work to do in Paper Mario. As well as I just finished the recording for Ape Escape and Pikmin. So, like... I need to, uh, well, granted, I do need to work on other projects, but. Oh, she was. Is that like an alternate Venom? Like, who is this Johnny? I've never seen him before. This game is awesome if you love button mashers. Like, if you love just a whoop ass, Mortal Kombat type of shit, like, this is the way to go. Dang it. Oh, good day. No, oh, gee whiz, Rick. Dude, I did that voice for the entirety of the boggly tree for Punio. Not gonna lie, it took a little bit out of me. But, um, I did finish the recording for the Boggly Tree, so that's good. Well, I think that's gonna do us for, uh, X-Men. So, what did I think of this game? I Would I recommend it? Absolutely. It's a great beat-em-up. It's a great beginner beat-em-up. Go for it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!